once again. Welcome to the mantle. Mm, today we're playing uh, Darkest Dungeon 2, I think. Doesn't say, oh well, I guess those are the number two, the, the, well, or maybe that's the number two. In any case, um, I think I bought the right game. <laughs> Uh, just a quick uh, update before we um, start. First, uh, oh God, that music is distracting. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Um, first, there is a um, thing about the uh, last YouTube uh, movie, uh, Lost and Random. Uh, the sound was desynced. I'm uploading a new one as we speak. Uh, that should fix it. Uh, but I'll leave the, the old one up um, until the new one is completed uploading. Uh, also, I will probably need to change my schedule on Mondays a little bit because I've started up some new projects. So uh, I'll of course update it and link it in the streaming schedule, but two hours later, uh, I think that's okay um, for me. Uh, of course, if that doesn't work, I'll I'll have to change it again, but, you know, fingers crossed. So, with all that out of the way, uh, let's just jump right into Darkest Dungeon 2. I don't really know what I'm getting myself into here, so... It's going to be interesting. were correct. The ephemeral equation is unbalanced. The Earth spins on a strange and terrifying new axis. And everywhere, unbridled consequence. The world is a wasteland of failures past. And yet, you must ride out into it, unafraid. Take this. It is hope. The very last of it. It is yours now. It's dangerous to go alone. You were bold once. Be bold once more. Free yourself from this suffocating stillness. Fix your gaze on the horizon. And face the fearsome truth of the darkest dungeon. All right. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out who the voice actor is. I feel like a seat of your denial, perched precariously in the murky gloaming. Let's see. I, f I feel I've heard this person before. Nope. It says Wayne June. Can that be the correct name? Well, uh, never mind. Okay, let's see. Begin your confession. Okay. Does it say release captives? Am I? Whatever. Oh, I'm actually moving this thing. Can I stop it? Okay, so it's just WASD and I know failure well. I glimpsed it lurking at the ragged edges of your mind. I watched its venom spread through the veins of the world. And I trembled at its terrible reverberation. I wish the camera would be here instead of here. The crossroads. A beacon for the broken and the battered. Okay. 
Am I... Am I doing something here? Oh. <laughs> so stupid. Clicking all the buttons and it's just there. Yeah, I think I need to probably read um, how how we're doing anything, what we're doing. So, um, you know, all the, um, all the tutorials. Let's see. Stagecoach is your carriage, coffin, and confessional. Yeah. It will steer automatically, but you can fine tune it. Okay, so WSD, got it. I could just mouse over it, it seemed. But okay, C to view the stagecoach. Uh, and when we get to an inn, we can change shit, I guess. <laughs> Four heroes will join us on our expedition. Uh, so drag and drop the heroes to have them join us. And the hero in the rightmost position of my roster will be the first combat line. Okay, so I guess the f first in the line will be the one that get hit, gets hit the most. So should be the most tanky, right? Let's see. Resolute Defender. Tempered by the... Okay. Can I see any skills? Here we go. <laughs> so, heal when something targets. Okay. So I guess we add some debuffs. And then we activate the debuff, maybe? I'll just I'll learn the skills as we go. I'll just assume that this guy is the tankiest, so here he goes. More devastating than the horrors of a hundred campaigns. What's this? Wanderer. Is this can we like choose his skills? Oh okay, so So it seems we can get more skills at some point. We get a, a candle or a light when we reach an inn, it's the second inn. Okay, let's just roll a... Durandal, that sound, sounds okay. And okay, so I have this guy. Can I add some other guys? Yeah. What are they though? They're all wanderers. He was man at arms. This is a highwayman. Rave robber. And like a okay, doctor. I, I assume that's going to be the healer. Yeah, healer it says. So backline. Maybe midline. Can stuff attack us from behind? I'll assume not. For now, <laughs> guess we'll learn that also as we go along. Can I? No, I can't tell what the, those are. Quirks. Okay, they have quirks as well. God. Do I have to choose? No. Okay. So he's got more damage on his range skills. You know what? I'm not going to bother reading all of it. Let's just get into the game and then I'll, you know, do the details. I'll just figure out where they're standing, I assume. So, uh, from any position, it seems, you can hit basic. No. Okay. Well, I feel like the. Grave robber should be Avarice here. Slips unseen into the catacombs of the mind. And this is a guy that's sneaky and have a gun, so he should be like there. Haunted. Oh, Harried. let's go with that. Seeking to outpace the past. 
Audrey is an okay name. I don't like that name. <laughs> Cuba. Let's go with that. <laughs> Parcellasis? I, I'm not sure what if the names are, uh, you know, important at all. I've heard, uh, I've heard that the heroes die, but I'm not sure if we keep them or they get resurrected or not, so... Montgomery, sure. No. It's horrible. Grigo. Yeah. Okay. Onward. C, it was. Hope enough yet remains of the world. Okay. Is that the name of the carriage? Oh, there we go. Traveling hazardous routes. Be is damaged when driving on rough routes. Okay, but... And it's... Oh, it's how much f light it does. Do we hit these or do we avoid them? You see, even your valley is not immune to the spreading stain. Let's see. Minus 50% damage from the next hit. Oh, and that's... Um, I think the stagecoach said that if we were over a certain threshold with the armor, we, we got this um, at the start of combat, so maybe it just works for one round then, or maybe or maybe it's just one hit, Let's, I guess we'll find that out. So she can do, can I like, oh, actually I can. All heroes are human. Ah, that works, bleed resist, blight resist, okay, so it's a bunch of resists. Uh-huh. And we can rearrange the party if we need to, that's good. So to rearrange the party, order while driving, drag their portraits, okay. Each hero rolls initiative, that's interesting, based on their speed. And turn order is, shows, is showed on the top right, that's probably this. Only a partial turn order is shown, so you can plan ahead a little, but not completely. Okay. Can this get changed later on based on speed as well. On a hero's first turn you may first use a combat item if they have one equipped. This is a free action. Then you may use a skill. Okay. So that implies that the skill is not a free action. Uh, skills can only be used if the hero is in the correct launch rank. Yeah, we kind of figure that out intuitively. They can only be used against the valid enemies in the target rank, yeah. To see what rank skills can target, look at the tooltip of the skill. The circular pips tells you this information. That's not the same kind of pips we just played within uh, Lost and Random. Uh, yeah, some skills can target multiple en enemies at once, that's okay. In addition to doing damage, you can cause a variety of effects. Most of those effects are shown by tokens. Yes, that's what I'm wondering about to see. But each token means mouse over it. Really? Token glossary. Hold control to view the token glossary. Okay, yeah, thank you. Control. Here we go. Okay, so you can... Ignore... Block. And 50 you get 50% crit when the target is comboed? Does something apply combo points then? What's that? Ignore guarded, okay. Ignore dodge when self is stealthed. And crit when comboed. Uh... Yeah, target gains... What's that? 
Oh, that's probably poison because we saw the poison resist in her. There yeah, blight. Okay. In our imperfections. So target gains two blight, and she has a self heal. Uh, if HP is. Okay. Heal and then gain. Dodge and speed. Okay, so if she needs to heal, she. Okay, good. Can we see any of the others, or do we have to? Let's just wait our turn, I guess. So these seem the same. They're high resistant to blight, so let's not use blight then. Can she hit? Well, they're both frontlined. What? Oh, and he's blind. So I guess we'll just hit the first one. Kick to the face. Oh. Okay. Self stress, 5 plus. Do I gain stress? Do I use this? And what stress? <laughs> okay, stress is probably bad. Stress, yeah. No, if stress is plus 5, uh, take minus 1 stress, right? And gain block and then remove. No, the target, if the stress is plus 5, remove 1 and then remove vulnerable. Oh, that's a good, a good skill to know. But, uh, okay, so here is a question, quick question, and I will probably figure this out. If I use this on myself, I get um, plus 2 block, and if I use it on a, on a target, I, they gain uh, 2 guards. But if I use it on a target, do I also gain it on myself, or is that, you know, are they separate of each other? Uh, self, forward plus one targets. Okay, so you can move ranks, I assume. And this is delay turn. Uh, I guess we'll try to defend. Um, let's do the next rank and just see what happens. Okay, so we got both. I both got a block and she got a guard. And it's amount of turns, right? Two protected. Th block three? Or is it just that I have three blocks? Figure that out as well, I assume. So, resist, uh, resist piercing? I'm not sure what that means on an attack. Do I get plus two resist piercing? Target is stunned when, when target is comboed, okay. Self is repost when Okay, but he moves forward if he does that. Ignores dodge, ignores stealth. And target ga oh point uh, against the combo point and or uh, yeah, and it removes dodge and stealth. And this is can crit maybe? Yeah. And removes blinded. Crit and dodge and removes blinded. Okay, so let's try to add a combo point to this guy. So you can only use those because Oh, okay, got it. He can't hit the targets. Let's see what they are. Target against combo. Is this uh, piercing? Heal. Target gains plus uh, resistance for a bunch of stuff. And plus what resistance? Disease. Bleed, blight, and disease and burn. Okay. Hmm. 
Um, plus resist piercing when targets this combat. I don't want to use the combo point on making him. But then again, he he adds disease, but they were resistant to disease. I'll just I'll just hit the same guy. The enemy weakens and wanes. Yeah, so he lost the block. Yeah, and then another one, and now he has one left. Okay, cool. And that's stress. Got it. Okay. I assume he is going to die. Death blow? Wait. Combo point. Oh, now they tell us about the combo point tokens. Maybe I should have just waited for everything to happen and uh, just read the instructions. Yeah, combo tokens are special compared to other tokens. Uh, additional effects happen when you target combo points, I guess, with a combo point activated skill. In all cases, combo point is bad for its recipient. Got it. Didn't you have a combo point activated thing? Yeah, let's try to hit the combo point this guy. We didn't crit though. Or I don't think we did. I should have just used this one. Because we could probably stop him from having his turn. So that adds stun with the combo point. Or we could have used it for the heal. Oh well. So do I fully heal between rounds or not? Okay. Some kind of currency. And... And a heal a trinket? Can I equip that then? It seems like too good to... Are you shaken? I was there thinking about the healer, but I think it door. might be good on the tank actually, because he has some self-heal, right? Uh, your shared inventory is split between all t item types, some items stack well, whereas others take an entire slot. Okay, use the inventory tab filters to easily see each item type. Okay. Trinkets. You will find. Uh, that's it. Trinkets, combat items, in items, and stage code items will all help you on a request. You will find relics, baubles, and mastery, which can be used to upgrade stuff, I guess. Uh, each hero can equip two trinkets. Yeah, I assume that. Open inventory and select trinket and drag it into the wrecked hero slot. Yes. Wait, right, can I? No. How did I? Alt? No. Oh, right click. Got it. And then inventory. And now we add the trinket. Can I see the damage? Uh, got 40 or 40 relics, I'm not sure what that means. But can I see... Relationships? That's also a thing it seems, okay. I can't see the dam- like how much damage reduction he has. Can I? No. I'll just assume it works. Oh no, minus 10% damage. He does less damage. Oh, that's not good. Uh, no, let's give it to the healer then, actually. I don't... I don't... Ooh, but this is the healer. Who do I need to... Is it worth the trade-off, to be honest? Yeah, let's give it to the healer. Let's just do that. Okay. And then we go. Yeah, so do I hit this or not? Uh, 
I guess we don't take any damage from hitting them, so I guess we'll just hit them. Desperate few. Uh, during encounters such as this one, you must pick one of the choices. Holding on one of your heroes. So holding left mouse button on one of your heroes. The result will be previewed at the bottom of the screen. Affinity changes. Heroes have vastly, often have vastly different opinions about how a given encounter should be resolved. When you choose the hero's response, any heroes that agree with the acting hero will have their mutual affinity increased, gold glow, and any hero that disagrees strongly will have their mutual affinity decreased, blue glow. Okay, so affinity with each other then. Uh, assistance, I'll need to check that as well. Assistance encounters bring the heroes face to face with the downtrodden local populace. These forlorn creatures are in need of help and often have valuable supplies to offer the heroes in return. Helping the locals is the best way to restore the flame. And the flame was probably the thing on the stagecoach, right? This? Assist us, okay. Sorry. Um. Let's unite them beneath our banner, or... But they didn't really tell us what they wanted, did they? They just said, assist us. From highwaymen to passenger pay is likely... ...worse. So, okay, so we get a... ...get a trinket, and or we get supplies. Not sure what supplies are, and and we already have a trinket. Yeah, let's go with uh, him. And it was glowing gold, so he approved, and the other had no changes. So, 100 flame, candle, bandages, woven, remove, bleed, heal 10%. And I'm not sure what that means. Plus 15 flame in combat. I'll take them all. So do I add combat items? Also, I need to check the relationship tab here. No. Relationship. Oh, okay, so his relationship with these guys. So it's 10 of 20 to form a positive relationship. Is that what I'm, I'm reading? Hope I'm reading that correctly. So it's about getting it as close to the middle as possible, maybe? Let's see, combat item. Uh... I'll add it just because I'm curious to what, you know, I don't know, really know what it does. And I'll add, add, um, I'll add the uh, bandages to him because he needs to heal in any case. No, it doesn't? Weird. No. Uh, okay, so he did regain health. Never mind. Uh, nine leagues to in. Does that change when I move the cart then? Eight leagues to end. Okay. So we can tell how far it is. Got it. You can feel it. A change in the air. Let's see. Heroes. Uh, yeah, we got that. We can see the uh, what the hero does. Regardless of what tab, we can see hero stats. Quirks, diseases, trinkets, uh, and so on. Uh, relationship, yeah, now they show us, and I probably ignored it earlier, or I didn't notice. Uh, lots of affinity pips means that the heroes are on friendly terms. Few pips means that the heroes are unfriendly. Affinity? Oh, lots of affinity pips, got it. 
I'm not sure what the what the benefits of creating a relationship will be, but you know, I guess we'll figure that out as well. Quirks are a positive or a negative aspects. You can treat them at the field hospital if they're a negative. Uh, yeah, the hero has five. Uh, can equip five combat skills at the time. You can learn up to 11 and the dedicated six slot for combat items. We have, we got that. Uh, to change which combat skill is equipped, you just click it. Yeah, we, we figured that out in the before we started. Uh, this tab shows any conditions present on the hero. Conditions are usually long-term buffs or debuffs that result from in item use, okay. So if I go here, conditions, nothing, okay. So is this a combat the scenario? Of your denial is giving way. Does the does the light level go down uh, if I stand still for a while? Left click. Uh, yeah, combat items are free actions. Got it. Move forward or backward. Okay, and pass. Wait, what was that again? No, control was it. And we get stress if we pass. Okay. Let's... Do I know what these guys do? Not really. But none of them seem to have buffs. Let's try to hit the back line. She looks dangerous. She's probably a spellcaster or something. And they're resistant to blight, right? No, not... These two are not too... Uh, okay. That's not too bad. I want to stun a target afterwards. I'll hit her with a uh, combo point. Wait. Is there a point to just doing it to myself? No, I need to hit someone else. So let's just make sure to defend ourselves. Blinding gas. Oh, that could be good. Just make sure she is uh, not able to hit us back. How much uh, blind? 50% chance to miss. That would be good. And I can hit um, both of them in any case. Yeah. Oh, and it adds a combo point. Oh. But protection doesn't protect from blight, it seems. Uh, during combat, hold Alt or middle click uh, while mousing our here over heroes or enemies to see the academic view. Shows full de details on any tokens the combatants has. Show also shows detail about details about what combat skills enemy has. Uh, skills start hidden, but as you observe the enemy, use them in combat, the details will be revealed. Okay, that answers that question. So if I mouse over and... Was it Alt? Yeah. Analysis is the natural prelude to action. Okay, cool. Uh, so... Stress, disease... Observe the subject carefully. Target gets. And you will discover its weaknesses. What's that? What's that? Horror. Stress. Okay, we don't want stress, I think. Let's figure out what this thing is. Can I. What? Can I add this? 
I'm not. I'm not. Target gets plus flame. Oh, okay. So I just added bright light. Okay. Let's stun her. Oh, and he he got the condition. That's interesting. Oh, okay, he was uh, he was uh, comboed as well. Never mind. Still want to kill her first. Add it. Okay. Two damage for two turns. That's four guaranteed damage, right? Stress minus one, add defense. Nah. I can hit all of them, right? No, wait. Target, one, two, three. Why can't I hit her? And what's that thing underneath? Guess we'll just kill what's what's there. Ooh, no thanks. How long does the combo point li uh, last? Just forever or until it's triggered? That's, that's three to six. I still want to hit her. Yeah. And that adds combo points to everyone, so let's just keep adding them. Wait. Why didn't it add combo points? Oh, 25% chance. Got it. We need to up that somehow. That seems like a good way to add combo points. Mm. Just make sure she dies. Add some more blight. The work continues. Not poison. Why is condition blocked? Do you need to have um, bleed on you to use it? That's interesting. Let's make sure to defend ourselves again. No need to take unnecessary damage. Seems like they round the damage up. Okay, I think I need to use the priests to heal. Do I hit both of them if I use this? Yeah. Let's see, three to six, four to eight, let okay. We can't move past him, so let's make sure we just get rid of one of them. A petty hindrance. And you have three of those? Is that per combat or is it per, you know, adventure you're on? In any case, let's heal you. And I kind of want to get rid of dress, right? And you have some stress, so let's just... Wait, that didn't work. Oh, if it's plus, if it's got more than five stress. Ah, oh, okay, got it. That was a waste of a turn. Hmm. Were you resistant to blight? No, let's poison you as well.
I can't hit. No. Oh, I can hit. Uh, I can hit the back line. Even though they're dead, that's interesting. So let's hit you with more bite, I guess. It's four damage for three turns. Okay. I kind of want to add a combo point so I can stun you next round at least. You still don't have any... I mean, at least we're avoiding some damage. For deadly all the same. Should I heal him again? Yeah, let's just heal him, why not? I don't want to use the combo point, so make sure to use a skill that doesn't uh, use the combo point. And now I can stun him. Hopefully. Oh, did I use the wrong skill? You know, at least it's useful. I could add a combo point and try to heal him as well. One HP left. Ooh, that's good. That's good. We didn't uh, lose more HP than strictly necessary. That's door. Okay, let's just read the... Let's read what we got. Let's see. Uh, in addition to HP, heroes also have stress. Yes. Begins at zero, but gains a lot. Uh, okay, but why do we not... Why don't we want stress? Uh, as the stress amounts, the hero will begin to become more irate. And this increases the chance of negative affinity. Okay. A negative affinity changes with the other heroes. Never mind, I thought about negative quirks when I said negative affinity. Uh, try to keep stress low in order to promote a harmonious party. Uh, can be treated by a stuff, laudanum, etc. Uh, if it if it maxes out, a hero will suffer a meltdown. The hero suffers immediate affinity loss with all other heroes, and then the hero also drops to low HP. So then we need to heal the hero if that happens, okay? When a crit is struck, it does several things. Normal attacks, does max damage plus 150. Uh, conditions uh, adds duration to round or duration. And um, elemental attacks ignore 20% resistance and heals, heals for more. I mean, it makes sense. Crits are good, basically. We don't need to think too much about them. Some monsters have death blow resistance, just like heroes do. I guess I saw that, but didn't pay too much attention to what that meant. When the monster is on death's door, each further blow has a chance to slay it. Some skills and trinkets can increase the chance of executing the enemy outright. Repeated blows to the monster while on death's door will also reduce its death blow resistance. Makes sense. Oh! Interesting. So do we have like any uh, death blow skills? Probably not. And that's how it's done. And we got salt. No, lie. Clear all corpses. Ooh, that's probably good. So we can like, because the corpses uh, seems to stick around. So if we like kill three people on the front line and then we can't go get to the back line we can remove the corpses on the front line yeah let's let's uh yeah definitely to the inn. rest and resupply await you uh yeah but i still want to equip lie to this hero yeah what was that relics and candles all about or oh, whatever Oops. So, this is an inn, I assume? The game will obviously get quicker when we get the hang of it, but, you know, actually yeah, making sure I understand what's going on. Where a little light still gathers. Uh, that's probably a good idea. So I don't 
just press random shit during the game. Uh, the resolute companions reach the torch and crown two candles again for reaching the end. Okay, so the travel log. Um, oh, prologue complete. That makes sense. You have found your fort, uh, fortitude at last. Collect what hope you can and end your expedition here. Okay. So can I use like use a skill now? Because he had a skill to reduce stress. I guess it makes sense that you couldn't do that. Uh Okay, and expedition then I guess. Press on into uncertainty or claim what you can. So we get uh what's it called? Candles of hope. If we do like achievements, heroes survive to the end, okay. I guess that's a thing. Let's just. I don't think I'll think too much about this. I'll just. Um, I'll just play and hope I'll get a bunch of stuff. Good stuff, let's see. Expedition end. Um. Uh, for this venture through the valley, there's nothing left to do, so end expedition at the lower left end screen. Normally, the expedition can end in three ways. Victory, defeat, that means all heroes dead, or abandoning. Is there a point to abandoning? Like, do you save your heroes in that case or something? When the journey ends, you are awarded candles of hope based upon how, how well you did. Candles are used to unlock... And upgrade heroes, items, and more at the Altar of Hope. Okay, so there is a meta progression system at least. That's I assumed so, but that's good. Even when an expedition is surely lost, it's worth pressing on. Okay, so there is not really a point to abandoning in those cases, seems like. Those candles can make the next journey easier. Got it. Good. That also makes the game... Uh, uh, it makes a good game to play while waiting for another game. <laughs> Great! Did I, I hope I collected the candles. I should have ate now, right? Remain undeterred, and you will yet prevail. Yeah, I got five, but I had three. Okay, I guess we move through this shadow landscape. Altar of Hope. Each expedition you earn candles of hope, the altar is where you spend those candles to unlock new classes, items, pets, and more. For the first visit, you must visit the working fields. Okay, let's w visit the working fields. Or the working fields. Such implements will serve us well. I thought I gathered three, right? Was I wrong? Oh well, whatever. Uh, Uh, here's where you unlock more trinkets, combat items, in items, and stagecoach upgrades for further expeditions. Good. It's vital to spend... No, it's vital to continue unlocking items. So spend some candles here when you can. Each item unlocked at this altar is also immediately granted into your inventory for this current expedition. But do I... Um, for this current expedition... So there is, the, there is a question. Do I keep my inventory between expeditions and... Um, Assuming, like, a hero dies, say he has a trinket on him. Do I get to keep the trinket, or is it lost forever? I think we'll unlock one of each, just to see what they are. I mean, we know what trinkets are, but... New instruments will help us diagnose the world's affliction. I, I actually don't know what it. that word means. Indelible? I thought it was said inedible first. Hmm. Give me a second to look it up. Wait, wait, one more. Indelible. Indelible, okay. Uh, making marks that cannot be removed. Okay. Turn start. If baubles in inventory are more than 25, 
Am I reading that right? I hope I am. Uh, remove one negative token. Okay. Combat item, restorative. One target. Uh, well, I can't look it up right now, but I don't know. Maybe repost or something and gain speed for three turns. A drop of sanity. Uh, I assume those are madness. trinkets for the stagecoach. Let's see. A medical gear. Before each location, chance to produce concoction and powder items. Don't know what concoction and powder items are, but there, there we go. Uh, stagecoach items are essential trinkets for a stagecoach, yes. Uh, can only be mounted or removed at the Wainwright, who is at each inn. Okay. Uh, your stagecoach has a limited number of slots, but more can be unlocked at the altar of fault. Yeah, that makes sense. And inn items are... Every twinkling recollection is another implement at our disposal. A buff until the next inn. You can add to a character. 5% uh, chance uh, at the round starts for something to happen. I think that's dodge. I don't remember what that is. Uh, and then there's a chance of removing stress or gaining stress, actually. Interesting. And that's it, right? Yeah. But just go to embark or... Can I check my inventory? No. Oh. Sanctuary. As fleeting as a dying star. This will embark then. Can I check my inventory now? Yeah, so... Uh, the trinkets I had... For now at least, didn't go back to... Uh, me. The seat of your denial. Perched precariously in the murky gloaming. So I'm curious to if the heroes still have them or not, and what happens if they die. <laughs> of course, denial. I'll complete my confession. You have cowered in your crumbling denial long enough. Yeah, I'm no longer in denial. I remember our first meeting on the steps of the university. A collegial handshake. That would doom us both. Your insightful questions during my lectures gave me pause. And I recognized in you something of a kindred spirit. Despite our differences in age and position, we shared a keen fascination for archaeology, folklore, and, of course, occultism. Mm -hmm. The crossroads. Who will step forward into the light? By the way, uh, indelible also means not able to be forgotten, it seems. So, inerasable, something like that. Unforgettable. Yeah. The crossroads. Can I check your inventory? Uh, nope. Did he? Okay, so the names reset, so they're maybe not really the same heroes. Yeah, so let's just... I'm not going to bother with the names. Um, actually, if you have some good names, just write them down, and I'll, uh, you know, either in YouTube or when you're here, uh, and I'll... Uh, Nothing, you know, that you shouldn't <laughs> show people, but if there are, if you have any good suggestions or even bad suggestions, I'll, I'll use them as the names of the heroes. Um, yeah. I put them in the wrong order, but we could change that here, right? So, time for denial has yeah. passed. Okay, so we kind of lost that item. Now, let's see, what was that? Strength, next attack, steals 
who are we using mainly to do damage? Isn't I think it's her. Let's let's just give it to her. And a trinket, right? I don't know what baubles are though. If baubles in inventory? Do we have anything? No? And this is an in item and this we need to add on our next... Um, when we get to the... In, an in with a Wainwright? We'll just go with what it is now, and hope it's okay. We have three regions, it seems. No. The winds whip more harshly on the far side of the moon. Lose uh, light pretty quickly. The bulwark of your denial is giving way. So how do I return light to that thing? I know what these do, right? Uh, what was it? Uh, yeah. What can we learn upon closer Stress and... What's that again? They inflict blight and... What is that? What's that icon? Some kind of disease? All heroes are Literally human. disease, okay. So, uh... I mean, we probably don't really need it now, but let's try it anyways. Just to see how that works. Yeah, that was so good. And she'll go faster. Mm. I want to... I kind of want to add... Um, I hope I'll get the, the combo points. But at least we got the blind, that's good. I'll make sure to defend on the first one. And... Self... Crit and... Is that dodge? Don't really... Ooh, then again, adding crit. How much crit do I get if I add crit? Next skill has a 100% chance. A yes, please. Ah, nice. Protect. Oh, they really want her. I actually think I'll move him forward. Maybe not. Do I still have the strength? No, that was just one turn. Okay. So use it when you got it. Mm. Can I make her invisible somehow? Because it says ignore or stodge when self is invisible. So how do I make her invisible? And what's that thing? Speed. Wait, what's... What's that? Oh, okay. Just means she's buffed with something. Let's keep, just keep dishing out damage then. Yeah, we need to protect her. For sure. Um... So that's a 100% chance to crit and she'll he'll move forward, right? Yeah. And he'll counter attack if he gets it. That's good. Can I if I add a resistance to her, can she like does she take In less crisis, damage or something? We can rely only upon each other. I should have checked how much damage she took uh, before I did that. Oh well. Ooh, seven damage, that's pretty decent. Uh, maybe I should have 
shotgun for the protection. Ah, that's so cool. And apply it judiciously. No. Uh, poison dart. Let's get the back line. Yeah, that works. I mean, I'll probably kill him in any case. I think I'll save that for. Uh, I think I'll save the combo for uh, our um, melee guy. Our uh, tank, so he can regain some HP. A petty hindrance. Uh, and then just kill this guy. Yeah, that works. Straightforward and effective. Mastery points. Yours for the taking. Plus five mastery. Mastery points are invested at the end to upgrade hero skills. Is that all? Uh, are earned mostly through combat. Mastery points are earned mostly through combat. Each will upgrade one hero skill when you reach the end. And I got five. Okay. More relics. Or rural riches. I'm not sure why we shouldn't take them. I mean, I guess we have a limited inventory, but it's not... Rest and resupply await you. Okay, baubles, let's see. Um, baubles are used to purchase trinkets, stagecoach items, and repair the stagecoach. Baubles come in different forms for each region. Uh, all bubble types are uh, worth the same, but take up different stacks in your inventory. Okay, and that's baubles. 20 baubles, and we had a... Um, we had a... Uh, Uh, well, I could, I could just as well add it to someone, I guess. So, because I'll just assume we'll get more bubbles. That's also an in item. Okay. Okay. So same same is true with relics. They take up different slots. Oh. Why did I... Maybe I... Wait a second. Hmm. No, that's not what I wanted to do. That's the one. The Roaring Heart does much for the weary body. Even more, perhaps, for the restless soul. Okay. So... Uh, Fine. But they regained some HP, it seems. Like, she's... I'm not sure... Uh, I'm not sure, like, what... It says, like, uh, oh, it, it's plus 10 max HP. Add 5 disease, add a quirk. Do I dare? Ah, who cares? Let's let's add some XHP and a quirk, and of course we use it for the one uh, potentially add a quirk. But let's use it for the one with the most HP, uh, and that was strength. Yeah, we want. She is a pretty decent damage dealer, and mastery trainer. When survival demands it. So how do I see? No, how do I see what, how, like, what the upgrade is? Like, say I want to, but I can't see. Okay, let's just add one. Let's see. And now I can't do anything more with that. I use that a lot. Um, I'm going to use that more. Oh, and I want to get him to maybe... Oh, never mind. I can see what the upgrade does. I'm stupid. It's right underneath. 
So this will add a better chance to make them uh, uh, a uh, combo point. Oh no, wait. If the target is comboed... No, it's a chance to add combo points, right? It doesn't say when target is comboed, it just says... Oh, let's upgrade it in any case. Um, I've used this a lot. And... This has been used decently. That's just a little bit more damage. Oh, but the, the poison is better. Let's take that one as well. I think that's okay. Your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. Uh, they're found by defeating lair bosses. Okay. Can I add more uh, armor and stuff? I'm, I'm lacking a lot. Before each location, chance to produce concoction and powder items. This will serve well. Sure. Okay, I should probably read the tutorials. The inn is where the hero can rest and recover. Okay, inn items can be used. They can heal stress. Blah blah blah. We know that. How to use an inn item? We figured that out. Uh, we figured out how to upgrade skills. I wonder if those are permanent, by the way. Um. Each hero has one upgrade. Each hero skill has one upgrade level. Yeah, that's okay. So we can use it. Use one mastery point to uh, upgrade the skill. Mastered skills can yield dramatic results. Spend your points wisely. They're shared amongst the entire party. Got it. The first of many forks in the road. Choose your path and ride out unbowed. Before embarking from the enemy, you must select which region to enter next. Each region had different enemies and challenges, and your party may be better equipped to deal with one over another. Regions have a condition and goal. The condition tells what special game effect are in place for that time only. The goal gives you an optional uh, accomplishment to win for. If you successfully complete the goal, then you will be given the reward showed once you arrive at the next end. Okay. So... Um, clear out the lair or avoid the hoarder. Minus 20% max flame or plus 100% academic studies location sc scouting and plus 200% academic studies. I don't know what that is. I think it's easier to do something than avoid something. I, uh, well, I assume. I do like that trinket though. And, uh, uh no, let's go with this one. Our great cities burn. All that beauty and knowledge. Ash on the wind. Let's go. Okay, embark, please. That's my second cup, they're just the same. I have two. <laughs> Uh, let's see, map details. The minimap shows you the road ahead, as best you know it. Locations that you can visit are shown by icons. If the location is scouted, the icon tells you exactly what is there. And if not, it doesn't. Your party has a base chance to scout each location when you enter a new region. And you can get items to do this more reliably. And watchtowers in the locations can also help you. Even if uh, road detritus can sometimes yield useful supplies, crash through debris to find loot. Okay. Okay, so that was the question I had earlier and Behold, I guess we'll crash through shit. The great cities of man ruined and a flame. Uh, wait. Oh, I had choose the route. 
unique. Can I see more? No. Uh, no. Wait, what was the hero goal? Please let me see what that was. Yeah, that's okay. No. Reach the second in? Is that the goal? I guess it's okay. It seems some stagecoach related stuff. What's that? Oblivion tier. Hazard. Uh, I think we'll keep to the left, right? Oh. Brace up. There is danger on this path. Uh oh. Ow. Uh, driving on a hazard will damage one point of armor. If the stage because has no armor to deduct, deduct, then the party will be ambushed and an urgent repair battle will, in, will ensue. Okay. The theory at the time was that harm could be rendered to a subject. There are many other locations to visit along your expedition. In time you will learn the advantages of each. Got it. Proxy. Uh, the unknown. So... Oh, we, we want to see... Let's see. The academic, uh, academic studies are deserted laboratories. The weird... Weird? <laughs> Items and other boons are uh, within are valuable. Okay. So... No. This one. Work. And trinket. Or combat item. I think I want a trinket this time and mix quirk potentially. Uh, we certainly didn't have these at the academy. Amidst the spoils, an artifact of unparalleled power. Uh, plus 10 damage taken per negative token, plus 10 damage per positive token. So if I throw that on our damage dealer and then make sure to buff us with the... with the... Um, the healer. Oh, that's her. So if I do this, and then we continue forward. I wonder if I should uh, move my. Uh, moment my webcam yes to the right maybe here is that better I hope it is Let's see loathing okay evil is overtaking the world as shown by the loathing meter it's a bunch of stuff to uh, <laughs> to you know learn um, higher loathing Results in tougher conditions for the party. Uh, increase when traveling on oblivion tear routes. Or tear. And when the when crossing, uh, I guess that's loading locations. Loading is reduced by winning fights at locations. Road battles don't count. Choose a uh, Resist, Lair, or Oblivion Ingress location to keep your loading in check. Resist, Lair, or Oblivion Ingress. Okay. The loathing whispers. Let's see. Uh, one Denial, plus Flame Drain, plus Enemy Advantage Chance. Okay. the wrong all the time combat item or strange wines 
Don't know what that is. It seems fun. I require very little to enjoy the effects. In this world, wealth is worthless oh, without purpose. Some... Okay, let's see. Uh, minus stress. But what's the um, what's the pips underneath there? Oh, in any case. Uh, driving screen and blowing. Yeah, that's okay. Hold Alt while driving to see the flame level buffs, debuffs, and loading. Yeah. Okay. What's this? Rough patch? Do I need to, like. Oh, I, I. That's just what happens by default, it seems. Uh, rough patch will result in one point of wheels damage to the stagecoach. The stagecoach has no wheels to deduct. The party will ambush and urgent repair stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can we stop for a moment? I kind of want to uh, uh, add a combat item, I think. Um, London, yeah, sure. Let's add that as an item. What can you... Oh, no wait. What did it say? Conditions? No, we know that. Oops. Hospital. It's the only... A field hospital is the only place you may cure diseases, remove negative quirks and reinforce uh, uh, or lock positive quirks. Only one quirk per hero can be reinforced, so choose wisely. The hospital also sells some curative items. Okay. Do you have a quirk that we can lock? Lacks resil resilience in demanding situations. Can I... Oh, and that costs relics. I really like that quirk, though. Uh, again, do they really last? Do really like that one. Let's Strength lock that. Comes in many forms. Is this uh we can buy stuff here? Yeah, okay. And triage, that's just healing, right? Yeah. That's, that's okay. What's the goal? Oh, visit. Uh, I didn't really see where that was. Wait, where that was written? I just thought it was this. Where is the goal? Oh, here. Never mind. Here it is. Scout the region with a watchtower and reach. Uh, what was it again? <laughs> just read it. Darn it. Uh, Hero Shrine. Hero Shrine and Watchtower. Uh, do we... I mean, we will get a candle and that's meta progression, right? We'll get one more loathing though. Ah, whatever. Despair and disorientation. Steal your mind as we pass through the void. The loathing festers. This might be centuries of human learning and achievement. 
ruined by riotous contempt. So there is a question now. If I die before I hit an in, will I keep my my candles earned basically? Oh no, wrong button again. Books. Don't know what books does or a positive quirk and potentially a mix. Mm. I want some books. I like books. Sure, is that it? Can't hurt, can it? So is it a, uh, maybe I should see, is it a point to save items? Uh, I want to go to the hero shrine, I remember. Prepared for the upcoming obstruction? Oh no, that's not good. Wheels you, coach limping. When the stage card is ambushed due to depleted wheels or armor, the party must fight off a group of opportunistic enemies. Each combat round, one hero will be randomly chosen to assist in repairing and won't be able to act normally. Oh, that's a problem. Additional effects may apply based on whether the wheel or the armor was exhausted. Got it. So now I have one armor left, basically. Let's see what shrines are. Shrines of Reflection are where the heroes can revisit their memories by confronting their past they unlock new skills and at each shrine choose a single hero to advance their story. If the story is completed successfully the new skill unlocks. These unlocks are permanent. Uh, whenever you use this hero in future, ex future expeditions they will have unlocked these skills. Yes. Uh, wait. Character sheets. Let's see. Uh, I don't really use that one. This, these are pretty decent bolster. Mm, probably going to be useful at some point. How about you? Use that, I use that, I use that. I don't really use that. Uh, tracking shot. I wish... I knew which hero would get a skill that makes it able to apply combo points. Mm, that's useful, that's useful. I like this hero a lot. Mm. This hero is pretty decent as well already, meaning I'll probably get a skill for her or for him. Let's get it for her. Okay, so... Uh, transi uh, tradition drove us into each other's arms, or estates, rather. She's the graver of her. Grave robber. Chapter 1. Luxury's lap. Born into money and married into more, she spent her days on horseback and her evenings in the ballroom. She was the object of her husband's boorish lust and drunken temper, placating his worst tendencies with a veneer of gracious deference, all the while indulging murderous fantasies of freedom mm -hmm. and the fortune that would soon be hers. So she was kind of, uh, I mean, her husband was an ass, but she was also kind of a gold digger. Am I understanding that correctly? It requires target corpse to use clear corpse. That's, oh, and you heal if you hit. Oh, I love it. Yes, please. Let's, let's please uh, get that skill. That's great. That's so great. The loathing howls. And I have three of these, that's not good. 
Uh, but can I then just switch them? So let's uh, say we have anything that can hit the front line now, by the way. Yeah. So I don't really need this one either, do I? Because I have the healer to heal. Let's do this. And hope that's okay. <laughs> Yeah, and then we just need the watchtower to get all of those. An elementary problem, is it not? Uh, I know I'll max it out if I go there, and I'll I'll take the chance on the unknown then. Though decidedly inconvenient, at least we know what's coming. That's okay. That's okay. Don't like how low the flame is though. Stumbling and grasping shadows of what they once were. Will there always be enough flame to basically get to the next? Co well, okay, I guess they answer this now. Uh, let's see. Battle advantages. No. Well, I, I, I guess we can start there. In some battle, the entire uh, in some battles, the entire enemy party will benefit benefit from a battle advantage. When present, you'll see the advantage icon on the top left of the screen. Okay. Uh, mouse over to see what it does. Lower flame makes battle advantage much more likely. The flame, uh, the stage cost carries, uh, will gradually diminish as we drive, but helping local populace and assistance encounter can refill it. The lower it gets, the harder things will be for the party. And when the flame gets below 40, things get significantly more dangerous for the heroes. And the flame effects vary by confession. Find an assistance encounter or buy some glimmers of hope before the flame is extinguished. So what happens if it is extinguished? Do I just lose outright? I still am not happy about where my camera is. Uh, here maybe? Does that work? Let's hope it's okay. Okay, so um, let's add. Wait, you were the one that added stress, right? No. Yeah. So let's take aim. I would do it. No, let's add this at once. Breaking shot. And I can take him the next round. Wait, did I upgrade both of them? Maybe I did. And she had something that if she had positive conditions, she got more damage or something. So let's make sure we buff ourselves. Oh, agony by accumulation. Minus fifty percent. That's annoying. Can I get rid of the weak condition with her? With him, be more precise. I'll just hit her at one sec. No, wait. I can hit. I can hit with the other guy. In any case, just to stun her. So, I'll keep this chipping first. I think I want to get his speed up a little bit. Oh wow. That worked out really well actually, then I don't need to do that. Do I have anything that can hit the third? Yeah, but I don't want to move forward this round. I'll just hit this guy. Ow. Well, you can't miss on defender skill, can you?
Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. You know, I just need to kill you. Uh, I want to heal you and remove the blight, right? Yeah. Can I? Maybe I can add it to you as well. Oh, I should have prob. Oh, it removes. Okay. Got it. I think I'll add the uh, heal thing. Can I get rid of both of them? Ooh, yeah. I mean, I know they're resistant, but... I guess we can just advance instead. Now, see, here is where I wanted to heal, honestly. And it's him right after me. I'll just protect myself then. An inkling of potency still see. lingers in some of these well-worn relics. That's bubbles, and that's. Minus speed, but plus damage. Wait, so... Uh, five base speed. Five. Two base speed. What happens if I just lower the speed to zero? But that... Well, I was thinking I don't want him to go so, so slowly, but... You know... I don't... If he goes last, more or less, anyways, I don't really care. Uh, so, yeah, let's go with that. Mm, where did the map go? There. Oh, maybe I should try to actually hit this. So long. Your path lies through them, and so they must fall. What's a burning pile? Resistance encounter. Was why was what was this again? Each region is overwhelmed with local evil. Resistance encounters are battle with these monsters. Winning resistance encounters is the primary way in which you gain mastery and can earn treasures that will make the heroes more powerful. It also reduces loading. Yeah, okay, that was. What it was. Um, battling evil is not without risk, but if you avoid all resistance encounters, you'll find your party ill prepared to tackle the mountain, which is probably the next few regions. So let's. Wait. Plus one stealth. I'm not sure what this actually does. I, I'm not. I don't. I, I know it's. Do I give them like a buff? We get stealth, but in combat I get a blind to start with. Oh, let's just. Guess I'll figure it out. All of us get stealth and they get blind. Oh, that was a good pick. Ignores dodge when stealthed. Yeah, let's just start by hitting the guy that we ignore dodge with. Oh no. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> I need to get people out of stealth now. So that wasn't as good because they'll focus the one that's out of stealth now, right? Uh... Oh... Do I want to move him up then? 
Wait, did, didn't I have a... Uh, yeah, okay, so I got repost if I move up. Yeah, let's do it. I don't really know what these guys do, do I? Analysis is the natural prelude to action. Range target fire. Oh, don't like that. Actually, let's remove and add a combo point to him. I'll try to blind him as well. Oh, that's good. Oh, he can hit. Oh, and he drags, and he can I can't move him. That's not good. Gain bleed. I can't hit you. Let's make sure to gain our resistances and add her, add some damage to her. Target is what when? Oh uh, wait, what's this? Stunned. So it's just delayed here, so I can stun her here. Yeah. Good. Wait. Why? What happened here? Let us take a closer look at the thing. As repulsive as it is. Okay, don't get it. Honestly. Let's knock back you. There we go. Damage is decent. Oh, that's good. Resisted the bleed. No. Dodge and. No, don't like that. Not at all. Actually, I'll use this. I. Don't like the buffer behind there. Resisted it, that's annoying. I can't move him. What happens if I try to use it still? Do I do is it just stuck and then still do the damage? And I can't hit this guy. Because he's in the wrong spot. Uh I guess I'll just do damage to the back line then. Oh, that's a horrible thing to deal with. Extinguished at last. Uh, and I don't have any more defense, so let's up it again. Maybe this can run out? No, it's just the next attack. That's annoying. I, I probably need to move him one back. To be able to deal with those. Or I could... Mm, I can stealth her, but how... No, okay, that's the same. She does have the protection. I mean... She, that's right. That's okay. I can live with that. Let's get rid of this guy. Yeah. That worked out. The past is gone. Let it die. Uh. I'm clicking the skills and not using the number button so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> All the stupid decisions I make. Okay, uh, pl uh, plus 25% fire assists. 
Uh, resist piercing, turn start if less than two. No, if more than. The speed is equal to two or less than two. Is that what I'm saying? It's 10% chance to be blinded. I need to see travel healing, but I want to... Uh, that's an in item. That's burn resist, right? No. This is just 25% flame. Am I missing something here? I don't get that trinket, honestly. <laughs> Whatever. Travel healing. As the stagecoat drives, heroes will slowly heal HP. This healing rate can be improved with some stagecoat items. If heroes are badly wounded, try to avoid location fights and drive for a while to heal back up. Yeah, but you know how... how flames, I need more... Uh, and now I'm going to hit the... Darn it. I'll just add the trinket there. Whatever. Uh, do I have any... Um, not in item. Combat items. Nope. Okay. Let's go for... Uh, that was Q, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It's not like it's avoidable. Right? Oh, wow. You must survive this onslaught short-handed. Yeah, I know. It's like a bard. Observe the subject carefully, and you will discover its weaknesses. Nope. And nope. Can't be directly targeted. That's okay. I don't need to directly target you. I'll just... Actually... I don't like the buffers. You guys know that, but... Yeah... Yeah, you know, repair. What does that mean? And stupefied. Y yeah, but what does that do to him? Let's just make sure to do it. What happens if he repairs now? Does she lose that buff? Yeah, I need to heal myself from... Uh Remove dodge and remove stealth. Yeah, let's do that. I won't really want to get rid of you. Oh yes, lucky. Oh yeah. Uh. Oh no. Can I get you, please? Don't, don't. Where is the bolsters? Yeah, here we go. Just 
just get rid of those as quickly as possible. Please die. Thank you. Don't like that. Was it more beneficial to have him in the second row? I can't remember, let's just hit him. That doesn't trigger that at all, the shield. Did it? I don't think it did. Didn't I have a skill that could remove that uh, stress increase thingy? Lacking a, a player or person is not good. Let's add the resistance so she can do more damage. Collaboration confers advantage. That's not good. Max up stress. Darn. No, she had the item all along. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm so... Uh, oh, that just annoys me to know and actually. No, tracking shot. Uh, to survive expedition, you need to pay attention to how heroes feel about each other. Yep. Each hero pair has an affinity value, which describes how friendly or unfriendly they feel toward one another. Uh, yep. Uh, in combat, some actions will cause affinity changes. Uh, this will be telegraphed via an icon presented on present on the hero who will respond to the action. Okay. Well, I need to make sure you don't die. And I could heal him, but let's just stack the blight. That's 12 per round for three turns. Yeah. Please don't take any damage. On your ass. <sighs> uh. When the flame reaches zero, the hero will soon be ambushed by cultists. If the heroes survive the fight, then the expedition will continue with a flicker of flame still alive. And it's at zero. Uh Oh, let's this just die. Just die. Do we have anything that no? I got uh, one wheel. <laughs> Plus one wheels. <laughs> Leave the wretches choking on our Oh dust. my god. And I'm so close to the end of the map. Please just let me. Oh, 
uh, basically nothing I can do here. Uh, cultists emanate from the great evil at the mountain. They appear at Oblivion Ingress and Oblivion Rampart location. The last location before the inn is always an Oblivion Rampart. Cultists are always a tough fight, but the rewards are equally valuable. Plus, defeating them reduces loathing. Good. Like, I'm going to remember all of these expressions. Spawn. I have no idea what any of this does. This will... At least I'll have um, all heroes available this time. What did you just do? Twenty percent chance of stealth for a round, or stealth times two for what? Uh, I think we'll just blind as quickly as possible. Oh no! I think for once we'll just start at the front and work our way backwards. You blind stuff all the time? That's not good at all. I know he's got low HP, but I hope... Uh, I was going to say I hope they can't hit him, but that's not true. I need to heal him. Darn. Yeah. No, you can't hit frontline with that. You can't hit frontline with anything? You should be able to. Why? Why are you not able to hit this guy? Oh, it's stealthed. Well, we could just as well keep hitting this guy then. You remove stealth, right? But not on the front line. And tracking shot was... No. That was tracking shot. Not sure what to do here. I'll keep hitting this guy then. It's I want to focus him, but it's being annoying, so I'm not sure what soft means. Like soft uh, blind. Eight? That's so much. I'm not sure I'm going to win this fight, to be honest. Uh, well, now it's so low. I think we'll continue chipping away at it. Yeah. Messy. I hope they can't heal. Well, self removed, that's the one. Trammeled, trapped, held captive by fear. Then it just he just removed my buffs. That's annoying. Oh wow. Uh, well, I'm not sure I can do too much except. Maybe if I do this. A miscalculation, perhaps. Uh, perhaps. Heal. 
This wound, at least, has been tended to. Ooh. It's the same. They have the same crit chance. So it doesn't really matter which one I use. Do I need to... I'm not sure who, to, who I should have healed. In that case, collaboration confers advantage. Maybe I should have healed you. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not taking the chance. I'll kill him instead. I guess try to kill him. I need to heal you though. Please just die. Thank you. I mean the stress is building up like... I should probably upgrade the anti-stress skill. Yeah, they lost a bunch of faith in each other. Can you... No, that doesn't heal. Okay, it's just you. Yeah, I need to maybe get him the heal skill, right? Oh, I missed. That's horrible. So if I do this... Yeah, that works. Uh, no, that's not the one I was looking for. This one. <laughs> you still missed. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Oh, he survived another round. Or maybe not a whole round even, it's just... Can I prevent him attacking? No, I can't. That's the highest damage, let's just use it. Yeah, worth a try. Measure out your violence. And apply it judiciously. What's that? Passing to heal. If a hero is on death's door, they will regain some health if you choose to pass their turn. This is a good way to quickly get heroes off the death threat, especially if you have no healing items or heroes with healing skills. Okay. Death store. I assume it works the same as the monster's death store. Uh. When the hero is reduced to zero, they are on death store. Any further damage has a chance to kill the hero. And they have the death, depending on their death blow resistance. Use a helpful combat or healing item or healing skill. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Um, how about I advance? At last. No, wait, how did he die? Field has did he, was it the bleed probably? Yeah. If your heroes died but you have unlocked additional hero classes on your profile, replacement heroes will await at the next inn. Replacement will be randomly chosen. Okay. 
In the hero parishes, you have the option to carry their remains and inventory item to the inn. This honors their sacrifice, and in return, you will receive candles of hope. Okay. Do. And he has a meltdown. The fiend's strength dwindles. I'm not sure if I want to advance again. Um, because well, the remains we I guess we could protect them, and he'll hit probably hit me in any case. Can you move forward? Not really. Let's just poison him. Him more. So we won the fight. Uh, I'm pretty sure we did at least. I hope we did. Yeah. A righteous action. And we got some flame left. We're back. We'll see them again. I am sure of it. Unforgettable trinket. Unlocks potential cost cultist trinkets. So I'm wondering. I'll take all the items. I don't think we can continue with only three heroes. Uh, but I'm wondering what happens if I basically end the run. Um, if I basically end the run. Uh, and don't say I want to end it. Like at the end. Just, just will it be saved here? And then I can continue next time. Because we're uh, getting close to the end. <laughs> Guard, Let's see. soften your gaze. It is safe here. Uh, the resolute companions reached the stumbling corpse. Eight candles gained for uh, reaching the inn. Hope from the fallen plus four. He hates blood. Our healer, lovely. She gets more. Uh, no, he gets less crit chance. And she is greedy. That's probably actually the worst one, as far as I interpret the game. Sometimes it is wiser to try anew, fortified by trials past. Spend what you can, for wealth no longer has meaning. Wait. If indeed it ever did. But this wasn't permanent, was it? Or was it actually permanent? I can upgrade this. I use that a lot in any case. And I should probably upgrade the... And I use this as well. Mm. No, I'll upgrade the medicine. There we go. Planning and mindfulness. As vital to survival as sharpened steel. So, I could repair this. I don't think that's the point, because I'm going to end it here. Uh... Yes, let's end. No, wait, provisioner? Uh, okay, so it's basically just a story. No, I'm going to end it here. Do not despair. There is nobility in the attempt. Because I'm going to end the stream. <laughs> uh, and I want four heroes when we... When we um, start our next run, a nebulous nightmare, an apocalypse that only we can oppose. So, the recollection. What is this? 
All of the items you have unlocked or found are displayed here. You can review them to plan strategies. Unlocked or found. So, like, all of them, all of them? So this doesn't seem to be limited, then. Yeah, wasn't that one of the... F uh, or at least... Yeah, okay. This was one of the first we found. Okay. That's cool. Um, but I think... Can I, like, exit game? And if I... I just need to... <laughs> hope I don't have to do that over again. Uh, no. So if I say continue journey then. Do I still have the... Bubbles and stuff. You must remember the world as it was. If you hope and to save it. Candles. All right, good. So next time, I guess we'll start by upgrading stuff and checking out the the city there. But yeah, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.